What's going on, everybody? Void Waco here, back with another episode of Trails in the Sky. Last time we were on, we were pretty much stuck on the 4 4 for the majority of the episode. But then we finally reached the top of this tower and we met this guy, this uh, professor guy, who was uh, researching this uh, teleporter looking thing that was left behind by the ancients, which is. Uh, which is uh, pretty interesting. So yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, let's talk to somebody. Hey there, buddy. Oh man, the taste of a cigarette is wonderful. At first, I wasn't in a mood to come do a story in a rural place like Walnut, but sometimes these types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. No can do. This was a direct order from the editor-in-chief to teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise, I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the way to scoop right now. Would you say... When you say scoop, don't you just mean gossip for your next article? Not that I have anything against gossip, but reportage is primarily greater. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peaked is boys. The boys region? Did something happen there? A number of large burglaries have taken place one after another. The identity of the criminals is unknown, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? Oh, I see. An airship, right? What are, what are they? Sky bandits or something? That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But, there's also the possibility that this could be a limitative, lim <clears throat> initiate, imitative deception by the Erodian Empire. What? Th that's impossible. We're supposed to have a peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire in incurred some heavy losses during the war ten years ago. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eye on them, but it could be a way to get back at us. True, you know, little bit of stabby stabby in the back. That said, nobody really knows for sure, which is why our job as reporters is to keep bringing these things to light. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, do, 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 do. Let's talk to Dorothy. Is that her name? Yeah. Oh, Steele, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if the number of photo quartz is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra-thin crystal circuit fabricated from spectrium. It's set up so that you could take a photograph by burning it with light. That's just what I expect from a camera woman, someone who knows the tools of the trade. <laughs> that reminds me, what's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's getting some fresh air. A raven-haired young man standing silently in the flowing breeze. Oh, I think I could take a really good picture with that kind of setting. Do you think that he'll let me snap a shot of him if I asked? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Aw, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Mm, yeah. Let's <clears> talk <throat> to this professor fella. <clears throat> oh, hi there. <clears throat> oh, hi there, Steele. Was it? Is your partner feeling all right? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a bit of fresh air. I see. There's certainly a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I wanted to say, however, that I'm impressed that the both of you were bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to become a bracer, right? You sure know your stuff. And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There were limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about 10 years younger... I'll solve the mysteries of all those ancient ruins across the entire continent with these very hands. The entire continent, huh? It's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Wibuai, right? No, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Eburonia. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. 
although I hate war with a passion, that hatred isn't directed at the people of the empire. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not the people's fault that a country goes to war. You lost someone dear to you? Uh, yeah, my mother. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay, it happened more than ten years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Oh, so you mean that boy over there? Yeah, he's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. <laughs> I wonder why I'm telling you all of this. Usually this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. It's perfectly, it's perfectly fine. Aren't good relations such a wonderful thing? Why do I have a feeling he's going to turn out to be evil? I don't know why, I just get that feeling for some reason. Damn you, video games! For sowing my taste and possibly a nice character. Are you still feeling sick, Joshua? No, I'm much better. I should be good to head back whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved, I'm relieved to hear that. What brought this all on, anyway? I doubt it was a whack of oxygen in the tower because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I, I don't think so. Steel! Joshua! <clears throat> are you finishing taking pictures? You bet I am, and I get a got a lot of good ones, too. Then it looks like we're done here. How about we head back to town? All right, Greenhorns, lead the way. I'm counting on you, children. Oh, boy, but I'm about to die, man. <sighs> oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank God we didn't have to go all the way back. Uh, thank you, game. Thank you so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten or... I don't know how to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us. It's our duty as bracers. I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yes, but my wallet says no. I'll try and save up a bit, though. I mean, yeah, money troubles. Well, have a wonderful day, and I hope we can all meet again. I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me say thank you to the both of you. That's what I like to call law skill. Now don't get all cocky on me. The bracers I know would make you two look like little fledglings, not ready to weave the nest. You're going to need a... You're going to need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So, are the two of you headed back to the company soon? Nah, we're going to spend a day or so with Wax in here and Wollant. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. I'll head over to the Orbital Factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, too. <clears throat> I guess this is the last of the jobs we got from Dad. They were much tougher than I thought they'd be. Yeah, you bet. I agree with you there. I feel like I've, I feel like I have a greater awareness now about what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. There you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us if we want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we report to the guild? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, but before we go, how are you doing? Still f not feeling well? Thanks for asking, but I'm feeling a lot better. Alright. Shoom. Let us go inside. Who is this? Oh, oh crap, I forgot uh, Scretzia's uh, voice. Oh, crap, um, I think it was a bit like this. 
Oh, it's Steel and Joshua. Scretia, what are you doing here? This is a rare occasion. You're usually out and about. I just finished the jobs I took over for your father, and I was reporting to the guild. So you finished your woe too, huh? Somehow, or other, I guess. I heard from Aina that you guys aren't doing too bad yourselves. I guess everything I went through to train the two of you amounted to do something. Tee <laughs> you're grateful too. Well, I guess we'll pour it in as well then. <clears throat> Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's hear what you got. Do, do, do. Reporters uh, get uh, paid. Money, money, money. Money. Good work, you two. How about you, Scratchyard? Don't you think they've done a fine job? For a bunch of newbies, you did an average job. But you shouldn't be satisfied with that level of work. Especially you, Steel. You're always the first to get that high horse of yours. Okay, okay, I get it already. Great work, are you? Uh, um, great work, are you? I'm surprised that we were able to fill the work gap left by Cassius so quickly. I wonder if we'll be able to relax for a bit from now. I don't know. I can imagine that the downtime might be a bit of a drag. Well, that won't be a problem since there are plenty of other small jobs like patrolling the roads and exterminating monsters. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to take a break. All right, it is time for my reward. I'm going to drink until I can't drink any more tonight. <laughs> uh, Steel, Joshua, you two join me as well. Uh, we have to watch you get plus. Mm -mm. Uh, we have to watch you get plastered and make a fool of yourself. Oh, so what you're saying is that you're turning down my invitation. You've got a lot of nerve uh, to do something like that to your mentor. What am I supposed to say? Your drinking habits are intolerable. You got us a luckus, dance like a maniac, and try to strip in public. Agreed. It's pretty embarrassing. Scretziard, just where do you think you're going to take these underage kids? Come on, the alcohol is what makes things entertaining. But if you so against coming along with me, then I don't need you a steal. R really? Yep. Uh, instead, I'll just have Joshua make up for your absence. Why me? Um, Scretzia? Now, hold on a minute! <laughs> Joshua, you look like you'll make a fine companion. Whether we're talking booze or something else behind closed doors, I hope you break you in. B -b break me in? Oh, why, right, you big pervert. Joshua, why are you drooling like that? Uh, I it's not what you think. We've got a major problem. Huh? Mayor Quaz. <laughs> Steel, Joshua, it's Gretchyard. Am I glad to see you? Says by the bell. What's wrong, sir? And why are you in such a hurry? Th this is terrible. My home, disaster, it's it's gone. What? All right, calm down, Mayor Quaz. Take a deep breath and let it out. <sighs> Uh, apparently, it seems as though my ho home was robbed while I was out. <gasps> Damn. What? And that's not being calm at all, Steel. I had something. I had something to speak with Father Divine about. So I was over at the chapel, and when I came back, when I came home, it was rather odd for no one to greet me at the door. So I walked around, and the rooms were in a state of great, great dismay. This way. W wait what about your wife and Retia? Don't. Don't. Don't worry. They're both fine. I found them locked up in the attic room. That's a relief to hear. It's lucky that no harm came to anyone. It won't get us anywhere just sitting around here, so could you take us to the crime scene, Mayor Claus? Absolutely. I appreciate your cooperation. Wait for me. I'm going too. Good idea. We may be able to be of some help. Well, if you insist. And uh, we'll be at the mayor's place investigating the incident. If you have anything come up, just toss it on Ridge's shoulders. I'm sure he's just relaxing at the bar anyway.
<clears throat> yes, I'll do that. And everyone, be careful. So, cheese. Yeah, someone uh, fucked up your place, cause. Wow, this place is an absolute mess. The crooks will really tore through here. Look at the safe. The spectrum. The spectrum, which was supposed to be given to the, Her Majesty, the Queen, has been stolen. I'm really sorry, especially after having you go all to the trouble to bring it here. It's not, sh it's not you who should be apologizing. It's the crooks who are in the wrong. By the way, how are the other rooms in the house? The other rooms, for the most part, appear to have been left untouched. So they wanted that spectrum, huh? Interesting. They're about as messy as the attic room in which my wife and White were locked up in. Hmm. Steele, Joshua, there's something I want you to do. Which is, I'll speak with the mayor about the incident. I want you to, to, to <clears throat> I want you to, to check out the inside of the house. You mean like an on-site investigation? Are you sure we're up to the task? Since we're all here, splitting up would be the best way to cover the most ground, no? Alright, we'll see what we can do. Proceed carefully and deliberately. <clears throat> Oh, wait, Mayor Claus. How about we talk in the power? Sure, sure. Now, where to begin? <clears throat> oh, God, I'm losing my voice today. Ooh. An on site investigation, huh? I'm starting to get butterflies in my stomach. How should we start from this room? And let's not forget to ask for a witness. His statements from the other residents. Sounds like a plan. All right, boys, time to go detective mode. All right, check inside the safe. The gift that we delivered to the mayor for the queen is... Those quirks are not going to get away with this. It doesn't look like they jimmied the door either. They must have decrypted the combination and opened it, or... Could they have really cracked the combination? It's not impossible, but I imagine that it'll be a difficult for anyone besides a skilled pro. My best guess is that they figured out the combination using a much simpler means. What do you mean by simpler means? Well, let's see. They could have, for example, dusted the bu buttons with a special bu powered, uh, powder. <clears throat> the powder like that would have absorbed... Would, would have absorptive properties, and due to its fineness, it would have been invisible to the naked eye. However, if a blue light were placed over it, it would glow. Oh, light and... Now let's imagine for a minute that the mayor entered the combination with the powder present. The powder on the buttons would stick to his fingers and come off. This would be one way to know which buttons were placed. Now, wait a minute. Wouldn't they still not know the order in which the buttons were placed? That's not exactly the case. As the powder collected on the fingers increased, the amount taken from the buttons would decrease. In other words, the crooks could press the buttons order starting from the least limit sentence. It might be a little more difficult if there were duplicate numbers, but the crooks should be able to make a pretty good, good guess as to what they are. That makes sense. Joshua, are you a genius or something? That's just basic knowledge. Anyway, let's check out the buttons. All right. <clears throat> Just as I thought, powder was used. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that this safe was open using the same method I just explained. Oh, right. Now, the big question is, who tested the buttons with that powder? We know it would have been at least be someone who visited the residence. Right. Now, figuring out who that is, that's going to be the tricky part. That student, that student, what was that girl's name? She was like a student from like a university. I bet she did it. I bet she did it. Come on. I'm a big brain, guys. I'm very big brain. I, I'm playing AI to Samium files, okay? Big brain. <laughs> this place is all torn apart. White would probably faint if she saw this. It looks like all the books on the shelf have been scattered about the room. It seems kind of senseless to have done all this. Uh, probably want to make a mess. Check the chest. 
This is just a clutter box, right? It's empty as well. The box walk looks like it was burned off. The criminals may have used an orbital gun. Yeah. I always shoot them walks up, baby. Just like Gordon Freeman taught, uh, taught us. <sighs> Place is all torn apart. So this, uh, the, the. Yeah, 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 okay. Let us go into the other rooms. I had such a scare. I was cleaning up the attic when suddenly a bunch of masked men came barging in. Masked men, huh? That means this wasn't a one-man job. How many people were in the group? Hmm, I probably guess about three or four. Oh, that reminds me. One of them was short. It might have been a girl. I, I'm telling you, it's the student. I knew it. Boom. Solve the mystery. Get out of here. Get out of here, treasure in the sky. Psh, get out of here. Think you can confuse me? Nuh-uh, not this boy. <clears throat> Are you all right, ma'am? <clears throat> yes, I'm fine. The intruders weren't violent towards us. Is there anything you notice in particular about the intruders? They were wearing masks, so I wouldn't be able to tell you about any specific features. That reminds me, I'm certain the front door was locked. I locked the door just to be safe since my husband had gone to the chapel and there were just the two of us here. I wonder how in the world they got in. Probably in the back or something. <clears throat> and what does Chuck the Roof? Or the attic. What's this? Huh? What's this? Service weave, huh? What's this? Don't you think it's a bit strange for a weave to be in a place like this? On top of that, it's not a tight that grows around here. Your shop is steel. This is the place where the residents were locked up. It was probably dropped by one of the criminals as they were walking everybody up. So it's a key piece of material evidence, right? Yeah, bet your goddamn ass it is. Hmm... Not around here, eh? Okay, let's check out the balcony. We'll just see if there's anything. Oh! Look, there are some marks on this railing. That's how they got in. Alright, so they set up a ladder or something, climbed up to the balcony, busted into the office, then tied everyone up in the attic, then went back down, opened up the safe. Bingo, baby. You're right, and they're fresh too. It looks like something metal dug into the wood. Metal, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting, if I do say so myself. Basement. Check the kitchen. Anything unusual? Nope. Hmm. Let's check around the house. It said that. <clears throat> that said, the door was locked at the time of the burglary, right? Doesn't look like the lock's been broken either. Which means they got in another way. Came from the balcony. So, some type of metal device, huh? Now, where would that be? Hmm, something metal and strong enough to weave marks, huh? This seems like something worth jotting down in our voice or notebooks. Metal, huh? Metal. Metal, metal, metal. Anything metallic? No. Mm. Check one of the other rooms. Check in here. No, all these ladders are wooden. None of them are metal. Check over here. Metal, metal, metal. Hmm. Let's check the attic once more. Do do. Uh, do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hmm. They hidden it pretty well. Maybe let's go talk to Quas. Shoom. Shoom. This is. <clears throat> This is what things looked like when I came home. I didn't get a glimpse of the criminals either. 
I heard the mayor run me through all the details. How about you two? Did you find anything? I think we found a lot of evidence. I think we found all of the things. <clears throat> oh, wait. Then let's check the details one by one and see what you've come up with. First off, what were the criminals after? Spectrum in the safe. How many of them were there? Uh... No. Three or four. Three or four. Where did they... Where did they get into the house from? The balcony. From the talents on the second floor. Wait a minute. Yep. Point Blake. What is the portrait of those thought to have committed the crime? Traveter. Wow, you did a good job investigating. It looks like we'll be able to specify who the criminals are with this information. Mayor Cross. Over the past two or three days, have you had any new faces in your study? When you put it <clears throat> when you put it that way, I guess there have been a number of people. That reporter from the magazine company was one. Oh, so those two came to visit you too, huh? But at the time of the crime they were with us at the MOI's tower. I think we can cross them off as the list of suspects. I see. So Mayor Cross, were there any others? Other than that, there was only Josette. <laughs> well, let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be a bit much of a stretch for her to be our thief. I don't know about that. After all, she's a student at the Royal Academy. Well, I mean, sometimes those Royal Academies, man, they're shitty as hell. Criminal criminals aren't always the dress so they can be easily spotted. As for a school uniform, if someone put their mind to it, they could create a replica. But I'm telling you, she was a really nice girl. She was modest and courageous. Right, Joshua? I'm sorry to say this, but I completely disagree. Huh? During that time, when the mayor put the spectrum in the safe, that girl's eyes lit up like a hunter, eyeing her prey. Of course, since I had no conclusive evidence, I couldn't call her out on it. But at least to me, she didn't look like any any ordinary student. Y you must be joking. Unbe unbelievable. At any rate, it looks like we're going to have to ask this girl a few questions. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? If I remember right, she should be staying at the hotel. But she said something about taking off from Rowan sometime today. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hurry then. It's deal, Joshua, let's try the hotel first. W right. Understood. Ha uh, <laughs> baby, right on the money, uh-uh. I'm telling you guys, huh? When I put my mind to things, I'm pretty smart. I'm pretty, I'm pretty smart. Even though I get stuck on the f on the floor of a building, of a tower. <laughs> All right. Let us enter into the hotel. Oh, next time. <laughs> gotcha, fellas. Gotcha, guys. Gotcha again. Yeah. Um. If you enjoy this type of content. Hit the subscribe button. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to tell me about some tips or tricks, uh, comment down below. Uh, check out my Twitter. Check out my friend's Discord server in the description below. Well, and uh, yeah, this has been Void Wego. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.